uh, the Connecticut Sun Index today is a nine. Nine, 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 nine. Let's sing the song of nine. How many in nine? Nine, nine. lemon meringue pie. Yay! <laughs> Awesome. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, nine. Take it away. <laughs> Our Channel 3 early morning radar scanning the state dry. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Look at the visibilities. No fog to greet us this morning. Ten miles of visibility to all of our reporting stations. And the threat for severe weather is away from Connecticut today. Yay! Yesterday, it came a little too close to Connecticut. We actually had some severe thunderstorm warnings issued in the late afternoon, early evening. Uh, they didn't amount to much. They didn't do too much in the way of damage. That's the good news. The bad news is we got more torrential rains and some uh, localized street flooding, but nonetheless, it is gone. And today, the threat is non-existent over Connecticut, which is just some great news. All right, let's take you out and show you your headlines. It's a clear start on this Friday, August 9th. Thanks so much for joining us. Partly to mostly sunny skies during the day today, and the weekend looks great. Now, later this afternoon, we do run the risk for a little sprinkle. And again, tomorrow afternoon, we run the risk for a little sprinkle. Just a little bit of instability in the atmosphere. Not going to amount to much. Most towns stay partly to mostly sunny, but I just need to throw that out there for good measure. Look at the numbers. How delightful in the low 60s this morning. More importantly are the dew points now sneaking into the upper 50s upper 50 dew points and the dew points are going to remain in the 50s today. So I've adjusted the comfort index. We are now in the pleasant category as opposed to the muggy category. It really is delightful and the winds are calm. All right, as we take you out to show you the day ahead, 84 is the expected high with just a couple of fair weather clouds building by this afternoon. 84 is also the high for the shoreline. No onshore breeze today. It'll be an offshore breeze and that'll make the temperatures equivalent to where we're headed inland. Beautiful eye cams. Look at the skyline in Waterbury. Good morning. Good morning good morning we'll take you right now to new haven equally as nice look at the sleeping giant state park all the way in the distance there what some that's some great visibility and look at the uh, connecticut river along uh, the middletown route nine there everything is looking good so we did have some shower and thunderstorm activity this is a 12-hour loop it does take us back to last evening Bruce and Mark were all over this and uh, that quickly made a departure. And as you can see now, we're fairly quiet. So that's good news. Let me take you out and the nation is fairly quiet. That's even better news. So that bodes well for us for a good looking week ahead, weekend ahead. All right, as we take a look at future cast tomorrow's weather today, again, you'll notice a little dot very insignificant right around three, four, five, six o'clock tonight. It, it'll be very hit or miss. Most towns stay dry, partly to mostly sunny, but I can't rule out the possibility of a little brief passing shower this afternoon through this evening. And then again tomorrow, this is 2 p.m. We start to see a little bit of that development, very negligible. Again, most towns stay partly to mostly sunny. Highs today climb into the upper uh, 70s, low 80s. Beautiful day of weather. Get out there and enjoy it. Your seven day forecast. Look at tonight's overnight lows. Are you ready for this upper it's, 50s wow upper 50s clear skies delightful weather we're talking about some unbelievable weather and then your seven-day forecast includes a great weekend 81 83 temperatures are going to be a little bit below average partly to mostly sunny skies both days monday and tuesday also looking good and then wednesday morning rain giving way to partial clearing thursday afternoon looks good 81 degrees so not a bad look at seven-day forecast at all 